What's going on, everybody? Good morning. It has been a crazy past 12 hours. The Jacksonville Jaguars have suddenly parted ways, well, fired their head coach, Urban Meyer, after not even a full season. Uh, 13 games, Urban Meyer went 2-11 and for the Jacksonville Jaguars as their head coach. Folks, if you want to check out all of our content, Make sure to go follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our YouTube channel at Review and Preview Sports for more of the special up-to-date daily content. Now, Urban Meyer. This is an early Christmas gift for Jacksonville Jaguars fans. Um, I got to say the firing happened late Wednesday evening, and I was a little surprised that it happened midseason. Uh, head coach Urban Meyer was not in a good situation to begin with, and he made it worse for himself. So currently the state of this team is going to have their offensive coordinator, Daryl Bevel, take over as the interim head coach. He was the interim head coach last year for the Detroit Lions after they fired Matt Patricia. And this is the second straight season where Bevel is going to have to serve as the interim head coach. He went one and four with the Lions last season. Now, a lot of people argued that Bevel should have gotten that job, but let's talk about Urban Meyer. So there was a report that came out earlier this week that former Jaguars kicker, kicker Josh Lambeau told the Tampa Bay Times that Meyer had allegedly kicked him during a warm-up in the week prior to the team's preseason finale against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Lambeau stated that he was in a lunge position stretching. Meyer came up to him, said some foul words, and then kicked him in the leg. Um, not worth repeating the quote that he said, pretty much telling him, hey, you know, make your blank kicks. Uh, Lambeau was released by the Jaguars on October 19th. And now granted, Josh Lambeau, never the best kicker. Uh, he only played three games for the Jaguars in 2021. He was 0 for 3 on field goal attempts and missed two extra point attempts in week three against the Arizona Cardinals. So no player to really rave about, but I don't care in this situation. Um, you don't kick your players. That That's harassment. Look, there's been several incidents, not just the Josh Lambeau one, but benching James Robinson for Carlos Hyde, who, by the way, played on their Urban Meyer at Ohio State. So he did have some familiarity with Carlos Hyde. And James Robinson was set up to fail in the first place. They weren't using him in the offense. The offense was set to revolve around their second first-round draft pick, Travis Etienne, who I'll get to in a few moments. But uh, there was also an argument that happened with veteran wide receiver Marvin Jones Jr. Um, not a good spot for Urban Meyer yet again. And then back in October, after the team's week four loss, Urban Meyer stayed in Ohio rather than, rather than taking the team plane home. This was following a loss to the Cincinnati Bengals, and then a video went viral that captured him in a bar with a young woman dancing uh, close to his lap. Doesn't stop there. Meyer was fined $100,000 back in July for violating practice rules during organized team activities. So Urban Meyer... I'm going to tell you, this was coming, and it's a real shame because Meyer was lowered by Shad Khan out of retirement this past January, signed them to a five-year contract, and reports said that Meyer was making somewhere between 10 to $12 million a year. I don't know if that's 100% accurate or not, but um, the Jaguars are pretty much leaving as much as $60 million on the books through the 2026 season with Urban Meyer. Now, we look at his college football coaching resume, former coach for Utah, former coach for the Florida Gators, the Ohio State Buckeyes, Bowling Green. He was an assistant at Notre Dame. Uh, 187-32 and 32 was his head coaching record at the college football level. But that never means you're going to have success at the NFL. Granted, Meyer was out of coaching for a couple of years. Um, but let's look at his timeline of bad moves, bad football moves, not off the field moves that we've already highlighted. Drafting Travis Etienne when you already had Trevor, uh, not Trevor Lawrence, James Robinson. James Robinson was a rookie last year, had over a thousand rushing yards, and a lot of people thought he would be the back again. Well, 
They drafted Trevor Lawrence, number one overall. We all knew that was coming. But then they drafted his boy from Clemson, Travis Etienne, which was not needed. Uh, this was a position where I thought they should have drafted Trayvon Morig, the safety. I believe he went to TCU. He ended up going to the Vegas Raiders, I believe. Um, that was the first bad move. Then we're just looking at their draft and Tyson Campbell in the second round out of Georgia. Haven't seen him on the field much this year. Walker Little, I think, was a decent pick in the second round, 45th overall. Now they had two second round picks, offensive tackle out of Stanford. Um, Andre Cisco out of Syracuse in the, in the third round. I guess that was okay because currently he's in the mix, but he hasn't done much this season either. Uh, Jay Tafili, defensive tackle out of USC. Uh, defensive end Jordan Smith out of UAB in the fourth round. Tight end Luke Farrell out of Ohio State in the fifth round. And sixth round from the Los Angeles Rams wide receiver Jalen Camp out of Georgia Tech. So those were his draft picks in 2021. And the Travis Etienne pick was by far, in my opinion, the most head scratcher. Because why do you need this guy? Everyone was excited. Like, oh, Etienne gets to play with this college quarterback. But he went on season-ending IR. The Jaguars were doomed to fail this season. The Tim Tebow experiment failed. Um, trading Joe Schobert to the Pittsburgh Steelers, which I get it wasn't the best contract a year ago, but in my opinion, Joe Schobert is one of the best interior linebackers in the NFL. Um, you know, he, he has a good knowledge of the game, former Wisconsin Badger. He's now succeeding with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then trading Gardner Minshew away to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now they signed C.J. Beathard in the offseason, which I like the move, but uh, trading Gardner Minshew to Philadelphia – this was a guy who could have been the quarterback in Jacksonville, if we think about it. Um, obviously, you're not going to pass up on Trevor Lawrence, but um, this is a guy you probably wanted to keep as your number two QB a little bit longer. I think Jacksonville was desperate. They were looking for, you know, some more assets, some more, some more draft capital. And, you know, quite frankly, Urban Meyer failed in his 13-game experiment with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I'm going to call it an experiment because that's what it was. It was never a true football deal. He he, he was awful. Um, does Meyer go back to retirement, or could he eventually make a return to coaching maybe on the college football level? Well, we've seen in the past coaches who have been fired for, uh, you know, uh, a lot of terrible reasons have come back and coached in the past, but I think Meyer's going to go back to retirement. He only came back for the money, in my opinion. Um, you know, Shad Khan was like, here it is. And Meyer went for it. But, uh, yeah, I think he's done. I think he's going back to retirement. You know, he's in his fifties, but I don't see a purpose of him ever coaching again. Um, who are some candidates to, to be the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars moving forward? Well, I don't know. Daryl Bevel, let's see how he does these last four games. He had five games with the Lions last season as their interim head coach. So it'll be interesting to see what he's able to do in these final four games. And I'll pull up the Jaguars schedule to let you all know who they have. I know they have the Houston Texans this weekend at home, then they're on the road at the Jets, then on the road at the Patriots, and then wrap up the season at home against the Indianapolis Colts. So I think two of their final four games are winnable. That is against the Texans and the Jets. And, you know, they've, they've lost, a lot of head-scratching games this year. Uh, not good coming off that 20 to nothing loss to the Tennessee Titans. First time Jacksonville was shut out this season. Their only two wins came against the Miami Dolphins, which was a London game. And then at home, that 9-6 to bone wish win against the Buffalo Bills. So right then and there, Urban Meyer, I don't know. Will Daryl Bevel replace him? Will they go outside and get a guy like Nathaniel Hackett from the Green Bay Packers, their current offensive coordinator, who's going to have a fantastic year? Uh, Eric Bieniemy is another name you could throw out there. Um, you know, Wink Martin. I mean, there is a lot of guys that you could consider for this head coaching position. Um, you know, I, I don't know where Jacksonville's going to head next if they look for another offensive lineman, but Urban Meyer is out as the Jacksonville Jaguars head coach, folks. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you like what you hear, subscribe below to our YouTube channel for all things review and preview sports related.
Uh, I'm going to have another video up later this week discussing the uh, college football transfer portal. That'll come up tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. But, folks, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.